Uh oh. I just woke up. Sounds like there's shotgun blast going on. Alright, what else? I'm going back to sleep. Keep it down out there. What's up, my immune friends? This is KG4E, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Missed Survival. All right, guys, we have been putting this off long enough. It is time to build the walls out. Um, there's one thing that I've been waiting to do to build the walls out, all right? I wanted to have all of these bases completely built, um, including this one. But I think we're going to I think we're gonna build the walls a bit. We're not going to finish the walls today, but we're going to get a lot of the walls done. And um, what we'll do is we'll just leave this part open for the time being because it's going to take me a lot of hours. A lot of hours. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be doing... I'm going to be building out that building in between cuts on this video. So let me go ahead and grab a hammer. And let me go ahead and grab what I need. And we're going to, you know, we're going to be building that thing out from here, here and there. And uh, some video coming up very soon. I don't know exactly when, but we're going to finish that up. That's going to be the food house. Uh, you guys, by the way, you guys gave me some really articulate and really awesome names for the food house, but I like mine better. The food house. No, mine sucks. I just think it's funny, so I'm going to call it the food house. <laughs> oh, yeah, the food house. I like it. I like it. Scott, do you like the name of the food house? You better like it. I'm going to pop you in the head. Nothing you can do about it, bro. You're stuck up there. Um, all right, that's that. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, let's get to work on the wall today. Um, what do we need for the wall? We're going to need plenty of planks. We're going to need plenty of logs. Let's see what we have in here. I don't think I have anything in here because I think we kind of cleared this out um, last time. We did some looting last episode, but that's not going to be... Oh, wow, we really cleared that out, didn't we? Look at us go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually going to put Scott to work chopping down some trees. You guys gave me a lot of really interesting stuff to think about for future videos that involve Scott, bandit camps, and trees. Mm, I'm just not going to say anything else, but uh, yeah, I've got some... Uh, I've got some ideas for some future videos. Faux show. I didn't mean to pick that up. All right. And uh, we have to get some nails as well. We'll just take uh, we'll take three stacks of nails. We actually overcrafted on nails. But to be perfectly honest, you can kind of overcraft on nails. It's not really the end of the world. You're always, always going to need nails. And also, you're always, always going to have to water your crops. All right, so let's go ahead and water our crops here. Why am I still watering the crops? Why do I care about corn, which barely does anything for me? I don't know. You know, from a, a strictly, you know, practical standpoint, watering the crops is a complete waste of time. Taking care of your crops, growing crops, 100% waste of time. Uh, the reason I do it is because I am a Let's Player and I'm showing as much of the game as possible. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, you know, it just doesn't seem to work that well. Um, sometimes, the water, sometimes the crops get watered, sometimes they don't. You know, you could dump up 15 liters on the thing and they will get they won't get watered. Sometimes they will. I'm just gonna kinda go ahead and finish this one up. And this is just something that the developer has to work on. You know, early access. What are you gonna do? Uh, it looked like all three of those got watered though, so that's it, that's a good sign. Um, but the thing is the amount of time it takes for you to water them and the and the effort and everything, it's just it's not really worth it. It doesn't uh, the crops don't give you enough. Like um uh, I could, now if the small if these small traps worked then the crops, you know, you could make the case. Oh, you know, just, uh, water, you know, use the corn to water your crops and, and or to bait your traps. And then you'll get some good uh, food that way. But now nah, it doesn't really, honestly, it just doesn't really work at the moment. But um, don't worry, guys. Um, you know, I do everything I can in these videos. So as soon as it does work, you know, you'll be the first to know. Well, the second, I'll be the first to know. So we're going to go ahead and pick up some of these logs and get these out of here. All right, we're going to have to chop down some of these trees. Now, the thing is, Scott will not chop down trees. I've already started, so that's why these trees are still here. So we're going to go after, We're going to go ahead and chop these down. I don't know what I really want to do with the um, logs I already have. Let's just go ahead and drop some down here. Okay. And we'll drop this as well because we don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need that. We don't need that. And we'll drop some of these as well. There we go. So if you start like chopping down a tree, and I guess I started chopping this tree, I don't know, but basically the idea is if there's a tree that's been been started as far as chopping it down, Scott won't chop it down. I don't know what his deal is. You know, he's I guess he's thinking, well, you know, I'm not gonna finish a job. I start the job and then I finish the job. But I don't finish other people's jobs. Now why Scott is not finishing other people's jobs, I don't know. We're gonna have to have a talk with him. But, you know, what are you gonna do? The guy he it is what it is, you know. Scott is one hard headed mofo. Okay, so we're just gonna have to chop these down ourselves because he just he won't do it So we are severely low on stamina at this point So what I'm gonna do is I, you don't want to just stand around and wait for stamina to come back like nobody wants to do that That kind of sucks. So what you could do is you can easily pick up some sticks Go ahead and uh, some branches turn the branches into sticks. 
That's going to get you most of your stamina back. Actually, that's going to give you all my stamina back. Depending on how high or low your fatigue is, you know, that might get you all your stamina back. If it doesn't, you can always make arrows as well. And the arrows take a good amount of time, so that will definitely get you, you know, most of, if not all of your stamina back. So I'm going to be picking stuff up. So I'm going to show you what I do when I pick stuff up, because uh, picking stuff up in the grass is not fun. I turn the grass off. And now it makes it a lot easier to spot everything. Although the, the leaves are still kind of a pain in the butt, but what are you going to do? There we go. And we'll pick pick these up. Oh, I didn't even cut these out, huh? All right. So one reason you don't want to be aiming down with the axe is if you have two trees right next to each other. Because if you swing sideways, you can hit both of the trees at once. Every other time you want to be aiming down because you swing faster. All right, let's clear this out. That looks pretty good. Those are fugazi sticks. That's what I call them. I call them fugazi sticks. Hey, yo, look at the fugazi sticks. What of it? All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And oh my god, there's so much stuff. So much stuff. All these crappy leaves I'm never going to need. I mean, just don't need that many. You don't need that many leaves, but I'm not going to leave them on the ground. I'm not going to leave them on the ground. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Oh my god, so many freaking leaves. Come on with these leaves. I can't even preemptively turn the leaves into into um into rope, you know, because it also takes uh um it also takes uh, uh bark to make the rope. I I don't think it should take bark to make the rope. I think just leaves should make rope. That way I could just turn it all into lashing. I feel a lot better having lashing than rope than uh, leaves. I don't know why, but See, so that, that looks... All, it's a lot harder to spot the stuff over here. Um, here is good. Over there is really hard to spot the stuff. Over here, it's really easy. All right. So I think we are just about ready to get building. There we go. I just want to clear that out. Okay, so we need to make this wall come right down Broadway. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of turn the wall here. The thing is you don't want to turn the wall too, like, too abruptly. Because if you do, then, like... The, it doesn't it doesn't work right right if you, you you can't really I mean I guess you could do a 90 degree angle but I'm, I don't want to do that I'm um, thinking this has got to go right about here so that got to go right there so I think we're gonna turn this pretty sharply but not too sharply here we go. I know anytime you're going to build, you save the game first, just in case things don't work out the way you want them to. Because nine times out of ten, they won't work out the way you want them to, and then you're just one reload away from salvation. Uh, no ladder. Alright, so how do I want this to go? I kind of want this to go... like that? Yeah, just about like that. So that will line up right about here right maybe maybe let's see what we can do with the next one okay so that's gonna you know what let's just put it one right down let's just uh, yeah I think right about that okay so you'll go right there and then we should just be able to build a straight line all the way down I hate the way you have to come up uh, like back up to this like menu every time too kind of wish he'd like make it so like you know the ghost image stays there until canceled so you could just place one right after the other come on there go. is that still lined up it doesn't look like it's lined up but it is at least i hope it is we won't know for sure until we build it but then we'll know and then we'll either be happy or cry ourselves to sleep we have to uh we have to accept the fact that things are not going to line up perfectly and be okay with that I have a real hard time with that normally, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We've got to make sure we don't save again until we've decided one way or another. Oh, we need a freaking... I know, Rachel. I need a saw. Can you believe it? Yeah, we need a saw, too. Oof. Totally forgot about that. Oh, boy. I'm get... It's getting dark, and I'm dehydrated. It is dark, and I'm thirsty. What a hell of a combination. All right, so we're just going to dump as much of this stuff in here as we can uh, as far as the nails and the wood planks and stuff go. It will open up uh, inventory space. Starting to get dark, so you know what? I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and record through the dark. I don't normally like to record through the dark, and to be fair, I could just go to sleep. But I don't know. I think the atmospheric, like the the atmospheric, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, immersion, atmospheric, like feeling you get. I don't know. I just kind of like the I like the nighttime in these survival games 
properly lit. You know what I'm saying? Look at, look at this. I didn't know you could turn that like that. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, if you can properly light the game, I think the atmospheric, like, feeling is just off the charts. Okay, and this game does it well, too. So, now we have to find our biofuel. I'll be damned if I know where my biofuel is. There it is. I found my biofuel. Let's go ahead and grab both of these. Uh, so, we're going to put one in each generator and try not to forget to turn them off today. tonight. I mean... Honestly, if I'm going to be building, I probably shouldn't even... Yeah, whatever. We're going to we're gonna use the biofuel. Why not? The thing is, if I'm building, a lot of times I'm just pausing the game. So it's like, if, if I'm not showing something, I really don't need to, to run these generators. Because I can see okay. The only reason I run these generators is for you guys, so you can see. Because if you can't see, then what the hell am I even making the video for, right? So, yeah. But we're going to run them. Because like I said, I feel like in a survival game at night, the... the, the the lighting effects at night in a survival game are really, really good. It's one thing I really liked about Rust. Now, I don't play Rust because I don't like PvP, right? And Rust is just basically all PvP. But man, you play Rust and you play at night and then you start putting lights on. Oh my god, it's just... I don't have words for it. It's just amazing. It's, it's, it's I don't, That's all I gotta say. It's just amazing. I really wish that game had PvE. I really do. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, fill up some water. Some water. I'm told I say water funny, but I don't. I don't agree. <laughs> I don't agree. So, uh, yeah, boy, this isn't gonna be lit up at all. So what we're gonna do is, there we go. That's better. Now we can get to work. Now I gotta worry about infected spawning while I'm doing this. Whatever. No infected are gonna spawn. I dare you to spawn infected. I double dog dare you. You don't have the balls to spawn infected thing is i haven't saved either so i should probably not do this at night because if the effect that comes out i'm gonna be screwed did this line up properly nah i'm not gonna take the chance nah let's take the chance you only live once yeah here's the thing guys i i saved the game before i started working on this uh wall system now the thing is you don't save the game again until you've i like to call it signing off until you've signed off on the wall Basically, you save the game, you build the wall, and then you inspect the wall. If the wall is what you want it to be, you you sign off on it, and now you can save again. But you don't save in between building the wall and, like, you don't save in between placing down stuff for the wall and then building the wall. That's just, you know, that's not smart. Because then if you mess up, then you got to, like, break the wall down. And sometimes you get some, some stuff back for the wall, sometimes you don't. So, you know, it's, it depends on the game you're playing, but... Um, I prefer not to have to worry about that. So let's go up here and go to sleep. I know, I know it's dark. I know. I know, I know, I know. Hey, guess what? Guess what, Mr. Imaginary, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Imaginary Commentator? It's not dark anymore. It's not dark anymore. Hallelujahs. We have light. Yeah, I, re I really like to work at night, but I'm just so scared of the freaking infected. And apparently, according to you guys, even after... Yeah, look at this. See? That would have been my ass. So, according to you guys, um, the infected are still going to spawn inside my base, which kind of sucks. But what are you going to do? You know, early access, man. That's the uh, that's the world I, I operate in. We should have uh, Scott chopping down trees, by the way. Is there a specific place I want him to chop down trees? Um... Honestly, I don't really think so. I could lead him over to a place. Lure him. I could lure him. Um, yeah, let's lure him. Why not? All right, so I'm going to show you how I lure Scott. Go ahead and build a stump. Okay. And then once the stump's built, you basically uh, say, Hey, Scott, come over here and chop some firewood. And then when Scott gets close, you stop him from chopping the firewood. Right? Oh, it's too far from base. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh, that's a bummer. Man, it's a little tricky to get Scott to get out there and cut down some trees, man. Um, oh, God. He's still having problems. Scott, man. What's your problem, bro? All right. Assign work. Cut down trees. Three hours. Okay, there he goes. He was, like, stuck. He was, um, he was standing on top of this table outside Kate's house, and he was stuck there. <laughs> so I had to assign him to this house. Eh, what are you going to do? Sometimes uh, sometimes one of your workers are going to get stuck in on a table outside someone's house. You know? Maybe he's waiting for Kate. Maybe he's waiting for a date. Oh, he's waiting for a date with Kate. 
All right, well, can't blame him, man. It's it's uh it's been a long apocalypse. Guy's got needs. What are you gonna do? You know, what are you gonna do? What am I to do? Oh right, I gotta get rid of some of these planks. They're taking up inventory space and they're just uh, not really needed right now. Also, throw some of this on the ground. I'll pick this stuff up later. Scott, Scott, you got any logs, bro? How many logs you cut down? Fifty? You got fifty logs? Oh wow, <laughs> close. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's been working. Man, Scott puts in some work, dude. He's just a, he's a machine. I love it. That's what that's my favorite. A lot of people ask me on Seven Days to Die, what's your favorite thing about this alpha or that alpha? Well, I'll tell you right now. My favorite ever and my favorite thing out of anything out of any update the developer of this game. Let me try that again. <laughs> my favorite update ever in this game by this developer was having Scott Shop Trees, man. That is just um that is just legit. I like that in every game I've ever played. Um, I like it in Minecraft. You have to mod it. Uh, well, I guess you don't have to mod it anymore. They have like you could do that kind of stuff in Minecraft. But I've asked for it in Seven Days to Die. You have to mod it in Seven Days to Die. Although that mod is even around anymore, Starvation mod, which is kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer, but you know it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I, I like I like the idea of having the NPCs out doing my work for me, and it's not like oh, you know. Well, if they're doing the work, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to protect them. I'm going to feed them. I'm going to house them. I'm going to build for them. That's what I want to do, you know? So, like, it's not like I'm not doing anything. I'm just doing more of the stuff I want to do. I'm having more fun. Isn't that the whole point of a game? <laughs> you know? Uh, although, I get, I get like, the idea of having to go out and gather materials as well. I don't think you should ever not have to do it. I Think of the, think of the, um, the NPCs as augmenting what you've already got going on. You know what I mean? Like... You know, you're going to go out and get stuff. They're going to go out and get stuff. It's teamwork. It's just the way it would work in an apocalypse. You wouldn't just have people sitting around doing nothing all day. Um, and if anyone's going to sit down and do nothing all day, it's going to be this guy right here. You know, the guy with the two thumbs. You can't see, but I'm pointing at myself. All right. So that wall came out pretty good, actually. Um, let's take a look at it from the other side just to make sure. And then we'll sign off on it. Nope. That looks good. All right. So that's how you do it. Uh, before we, let's go up top and see how it is up there. Sometimes you can't get up past the, uh, yep, see? Yeah, right, wow, okay. All right, this, this, this is working. I am, I am liking this. Look at this, guys. This is KJ48 signing off. Hells yeah. You best believe that. All right, well, let's continue. How many nails do we have left? Oh, wow. You don't really go through, through too many nails with these things, huh? All right, so let's go ahead and keep. Let's go ahead and keep you. You keep chopping, Scott. Ch Scott, you keep chopping. I'll keep building. What's that? You want to build, Scott? <laughs> well, go buy your own copy of Mist, and then you can build. All right, this is my copy. I paid for it. You're gonna be chopping wood. And I'm gonna be building. Okay. Actually, did I pay for this? I don't know if I got it as a. I don't know if I got this. I don't know if I got a key for this or not. I might have bought it. I'm not sure. Sometimes I buy these games. Sometimes I get keys. Like if a developer like offers me a key, um, you know, I get a key. But most of the time I just buy them because I either can't be bothered <laughs> asking for a key or sometimes I ask for them and they don't give them to me or sometimes I just can't wait. <laughs> most of the time I can't wait. I'm an impatient dude, you know. We should probably put another ladder in here, right? Put a, put a ladder every so often. I think that's a good idea. Uh, well, I don't know why you would ever make this one with the full thing there, but... I don't know. Maybe there's a reason I'm not thinking about it. Do you guys ever use those walls? The walls with the full thing or without the like little sh area you can shoot out of? Okay. Come on. Come in. All right. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. It's all coming up cage today, folks. All right. So we're going to build this, uh, this stretch of wall. We'll sign off on it. I just saved... See if it lines up. A lot of the time, you maybe think I'm being overprepared with this whole, like, you know, maybe the walls aren't set up properly or whatever. And maybe I am. But um, I've had too many times where you, the walls look like they're lined up when you put them down with the green ghost image, and they're not. And I just don't want to deal with that because it's, it's it sucks, man. It really does. Uh-oh. I just woke up. Sounds like there's shotgun blast going on. All right, whatevs. I'm going back to sleep. Keep it down out there. I'm trying to sleep here. God knows they're not hitting anything. <laughs> good, thing, good thing I didn't give them any ammo they can waste. Bunch of numb nuts. <laughs> At least it isn't like the, uh, the freaking M4 going off. Right, tat, tat. It's just a, you know, shotgun shell here and there. Let's see if they actually hit anything. I put Scott out here to, uh, chop down trees during the night. And this is where it sounded like a lot of the shots were going off, but 
Not seeing any uh, corpses. Scott, you all right, bud? You around here? He's down there. And yeah, let's see any corpses. So yeah, he's definitely chopping down trees. Um, oh, there's one right there. Oh, look. Okay, here we go. Maybe he got him. Did you shoot him? No, I don't think he shot him. Um, I was told. Oh, maybe it was this one. Yeah, I was told if your survivors kill a zombie, you get to loot the zombie. So either that zombie just happened to have no loot, or that's not true. You can't loot him if your uh, if your survivor kills him, or Scott didn't kill him. I'm gonna bet that Scott didn't kill him. I'm gonna bet point blank. Scott's a numb nuts. I'm gonna assume he didn't kill, him, right? Right, Rachel? Isn't Scott a numb nuts? Yeah, she doesn't like Scott. Let's face it, nobody likes Scott. No, I'm just kidding. I like Scott, man. The guy chops down trees for me. I'm not going to talk crap about... Well, I guess I am going to talk crap, but I'm not going to seriously talk a lot of crap about someone who chops down my trees for me. He's a damn hero. He's a god darn hero. He's a GD hero. You know what I'm saying? All right, so that looks pretty lined up to me. So let's continue along the walls. By the way, these walls did not come out perfectly straight. Like I said, when you put down the ghost image, you can't really tell. Like, and that you could tell that that's off right there. And I think I did it a couple more times. It's good enough, though. Like, I, I kept it. But, you know, just to show you what I was talking about. Like, it's very um, it's very difficult to line up these walls, you know, properly. Uh, because you just can't tell with the ghost image, man. It's like, it's really not easy. Uh, should we have this coming out? Nah. Uh, well, eh, nah. Okay, go straight. Go straight down here. Nah, I'm going to have this come out a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like... So, I'll put down another one. Now this one should be straight, flush with this one. Straight. Be nice if these if these things snapped into place the way that uh, live livestock fence does. There you go. Looking good. Yeah, man, this is like the freaking Great Wall of KG48, right? Because I'm so imaginative. The Great Wall of eight, the the Great Wall of 848. Uh, wall of great of 848. I don't know, something like that. Okay. There we go. And it's probably going to... I'm not sure how far it's going to... This is going to be a problem. Remember, we were talking about this. Um, I think this wall is going to... I mean, we could probably have it come down over here. Honestly. And stay out there. It's going to have to go down a hill no matter what. Alright? If the wall right here turns this way... Right? It stays off the hill, stays off the hill, stays off the hill. And then it's going to have to go down the hill right here. And this is a steeper hill and probably will look worse. So I, I think what I'll do is I'll have the wall go down the hill on this side. And it's going to make it a bigger base, but I'm okay with that. Um, I think the wall will come straight out here. Come down the hill right here. Maybe even across the road. Not really sure. I haven't decided about that yet. It's going to come this way. And it'll hook up with the wall over here. It's just the, the walls don't handle like slopes very well. That's the problem. So, what are you going to do? All right, let's put a couple more down. Uh, there we go. And yes, this wall is going to take a lot of resources. Yes, it's way bigger than I need it to be. Yes, it doesn't serve a purpose. Uh, and yeah, probably the infected will spawn inside of it. I don't care. I build. It makes me happy. When, I, when this thing's done and I look at my base, like my compound, I can't even call this a base anymore. This has turned into a compound. So when I when I'm when all said and done and I sit back and I look at my compound, I will be happy. It'll it'll release that dopamine into my brain that I'm looking for whenever I play these games, and uh, that's what it's all about. So that's what I'm going to be doing. There we go. Yeah, like that. And I think that will be fine for now. Yeah, that works. That will be fine for now. It's not perfect. It's got a little bit of an angle there I don't like, but that's okay. We're going to let it go because we need to let these things go. It's not going to be perfect. You're in a freaking apocalypse. It doesn't need to be perfect. The idea that you think something would be perfect is kind of laughable. You know, just kind of putting together the best uh, the best thing we can here. So let's go ahead and grab those. We're going to put these in there. Oh, we're getting a mist. Looks like we're getting a mist. No, we're good. Don't save the game, Cage. Don't save the game. It's hard to rem it's hard to rem remind myself. Well, it's not hard. To it's not hard to remind myself not to save the game. It's hard to remember not to save the game. So I will try and remind myself so that way I don't do it. Uh, let's see what Scott did out here. Uh, okay, all right. 
Shut up, timer. Ain't nobody listening to you. I don't know why I set you and then not listen to you, but there it is. All right, guys, we are just about there. Just picking up all these logs, man. This guy is gone absolutely ham. Stop that. Pick up the log, please. Oh, I also wanted to show you something else. I did this off camera, but I wanted to do it for you guys live. So let's go check this out. I did manage to get up on the roof. All right, so let me show you how I did it. When I last tried to get up, I was jumping off this. But no, you're supposed to jump off this side. There we go. And we're on the roof. Raise the roof. Hey, Scott, look at me. I'm on the roof, bro. Yeah, boy. Oh, look at this. Huh. Can you drop down in there? I've never gotten up there, by the way. I don't really think there's anything up there to get or to do. But yeah, look at that. See, there's no loot up here or anything. I mean, I guess you could get up there, maybe stay up there. I don't know. But probably, I mean, you could definitely get up there. You just got to build some stuff inside. You know, if you stack stuff upright or whatever, you could definitely get up there. I just don't really see any need for it. Okay, let's drop down like this. Like this. How much room do we have? We have some room. I definitely had Scott chopping down some trees over here, but I think I might have gotten most of them. Yeah. All right, so I had him chopping down trees over there, too. Oh, there's some right there. We're just about done with the length of the wall we've done. Uh, you know, I can go for another update where all the trees grow back. Uh, he, if, if a tree grows back inside your base, Scott can chop it down without, without hurting your base. No problem. So that's something I really can't do. Ooh, that's, I don't like the fact that log's in there. And I don't think there's any way for me to get it out of there either. Ugh, I don't like that. It's probably going to be there forever. Oh, well, whatever. To hell with it. Nothing we can do about it now. Get up here. And Scott, any other trees, man? What are you doing? Get chopped down the trees, bro. I need more trees than that. Come on, bro. Alright, what we're gonna do is I'm pretty sure you chopped down some more trees somewhere else. I'm just gonna kinda throw some stuff on there. Eh, that's the only thing I want to throw on the ground. Alright, let's put some logs in here, finish up what we can. Alright. I could have swore I had him chopped down. I should probably have him chopped down more trees. The thing is, I think it takes him a while to get to where he's going to chop down the trees. So maybe, like, you know, you set him up for three hours. He takes, like, an hour to get... Why would he take so long to get there, though? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to have him chop... The compound's getting big, guys. I can't even find Scott. Right? Kate, you seen Scott? He's not in there. Yeah, the compound's getting pretty big, man. I'm having trouble finding people. Scott. 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 Guess what I want you to do? You've got three guesses. That's right. Chop down some trees, bro. Well, guys, I think I'm actually just going to finish this wall off camera because I need some I need some logs. This is taking a while. But, uh, you know, you guys will see what it looks like in the thumbnail. You Actually, you would have already seen what it looks like in the thumbnail because I'm going to take a nice, sexy screenshot of this wall for the thumbnail. All right, guys, if you haven't enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.